All right, so we're in section 4.2. And we're going to talk about what we call SSS and SAS triangles. So just a quick, uh, just a quick recap from yesterday. For polygons, to show that they're congruent, we need to show that um, each pair of sides and angles are congruent. So we have to match up pairs of sides and pairs of angles. 25-sided polygon, we have to match up 25 sides and 25 angles. For triangles, we have shortcuts. And the shortcuts are what we're, going to, what we're going to be talking about. The first one is the SSS postulate. SSS stands for side, side, side. The SSS postulate says um, if, if the sides of one triangle are congruent to the sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So what we're saying in pictures is if we have something like this, and I'll call this angle, triangle ABC, and we have another triangle, this we'll call it DEF, and I'm going to mark the sides like so. So we have three sides on triangle ABC, and we're at the three sides on, tri on triangle DEF. We would say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle, and we need side AB to be congruent to side EF. So I'd say EFD. And we can check to make sure we did that right. AB is congruent to EF, and we need uh, BC congruent to FD, and that's how they match up here. So three pieces of information instead of six. We just need to match up the sides of the, of the two triangles. And we'll see as we go forward with our, with our postulates for showing the triangles are congruent, we always we always need three pieces of information for triangles. So we shortcut it by, th by, for this one, by three angles. We don't have to worry about the angles. The three sides are congruent. That guarantees us that the triangles are congruent. All right, let's look at the next one, our next postulate, the SAS. And SAS is short for side, angle, side. Side angle side postulate says if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides in the included angle on another triangle, then the triangles are congruent.
and included means between. So if I have a, this is the included angle. It's between these two sides. So if we draw a picture here, what we have is something like this. And again, we'll have ABC and DEF. And I'm going to mark them like this. So we have angle C here is included between these two sides of the triangle. Angle D is included between these two sides of the triangle. So we have the included angle on both triangles. So here we'd say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Well, angle A is going to match with angle F here. And we'd have F, E, D. Because D and angle D and angle C have to match up. So again, we need three pieces of information, two sides and the angle between them. And when your book talks about those angles, they're going to call it the included angles. All right, questions on, on those two? Side, angle, side, 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 side. We'll have a total of four, four shortcuts for triangles. All right, I would just want to look at a few examples. So on these examples, we want to know, are the triangles congruent? And why or why not? So we're going to draw some pictures and decide if these triangles are congruent. And the whys for triangles are just our postulates. Side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, that kind of thing. And we'll have several by the time we finish talking about all of them. So here's our first, first one. And in this chapter, it's especially important to be careful that we go by what the diagram tells us, not by what the picture looks like. So we have to go with the markings and the information that we're given, not, not just by the, the visual part of it. All right, so are these two triangles congruent? If they are, why? If not, why not? Yes? What would be our reason? Yeah? SAS, right? SAS? Side angle side. And when we, when we read off our, our shortcuts for triangles, they go in the same order on the triangles as they do in the orders of the initials. So this is side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So they have to go in the same order on the triangle as they do in the initials. We can't just match them up any way we want. So that'd be yes, by side, angle side. How about how about this one? Are those congruent? Why if they are, why? If not, why not? No? Anybody? Yeah, by SSS. We have three sides on one, congruent to three sides on the other. They're congruent. Mr. Beamer, I don't know how you can wear one of these things all the time. My head's getting really hot. It's, uh, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Why are you going to take yours off? <laughs> I only, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's secret. It's like, it's like Darth Vader. You have to wait for three uh, movies to see him take his, his helmet off. There, yeah, there are lots of Mr. Beamers today. Um, 
How about Mr. Mr. The other Mr. Beamer scared me. Not the, hmm? That was Mr. Uh, that was Mr. Leader Beamer. All right. Are these two triangles congruent? Why or why not? No. What's 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 the issue here? We have a side angle side, but what's what's wrong with this with this one? It's this one would be a side side angle or an angle side side. This one I'm going to draw a little arrow. This is not the included angle. It's not between the the two sides that we're interested. In the wrong and it's the wrong place, so it's not the included angle. So we can't we can't say they're congruent by side angle side. So again, we we read off the the our reasons the same order on the triangle as we do in the in the initials side angle side. This would be side side angle. We skip over one. All right, um, let's look at number four. How about these two? Those angles, those triangles look <coughs> those look pretty close to being the same, don't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are they congruent? Can we tell? No, no? why not? Not enough information. We only have two pieces of information here. For our for our postulates we need three. So I'm gonna say no uh, we say don't know. because there's not enough information. They might be congruent. If we had some more information, we might be able to tell. But what we have there, we can't tell. All right. Last one of these, and then we'll do one other kind, and we'll be done. We'll see lots of pictures like, like this one in Chapter 4. Is the triangle on the left congruent to the triangle on the right? Oh, let me do one thing. There. Now is it congruent to the triangle on the right? Yeah? Don't, I, don't we have only have two pieces of information there? You would just have a side and a side? Yeah? The middle is congruent to itself. Very nice. That's congruent to itself. That comes up a lot in this chapter. If we have a segment like that that's congruent to itself. Do you remember what our reason is for that? Things are congruent to themselves. One more time. Reflexive. Nice. So this would be yes. And our reason would be side, side, side. We were able to figure out that third piece of information. It's congruent to itself. All right, let's look at one other kind of imp uh, one other kind of example and then we'll be done for today. Um, so we want to know what else do we need to know to say that and I'll draw a picture here in just a second. Triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC by side angle side. And here is our picture.
So that's a 90 degree angle, that's a 90 degree angle, and this is A, C, B, and D. Alright. Well what what do we know for sure about these two these two right angles? Since they're both 90 degrees, don't we know that they're congruent? Yeah. So let me mark those. So I'm going to mark those two 90 degree angles congruent. So there's one piece of information. What else do we know? Yeah? Uh, middle, middle segment's congruent to itself. All right, so let me get the highlighter here. We have a side. We have an angle. So by side, for side angle side, we need another side. And we need that 90 degree angle to be the included angle. So what sides do we need? And we need this side and this side. So we'd have a side, angle, and side. So we would need to know that in order to use side angle side, we need to know that segment BC is congruent to segment CD for SAS. So we can't just pick out any side, any other side at random. It has to be the side that makes that 90 degree angle the included angle. All right, questions? Okay. All right, there's that.